oh, even at that meeting that we had, um, where I confronted her, there were two people in the restaurant that was hardly filled that she had gotten into it with. She gets into it with, with people. And people really, you know, like that stuff, I guess. Someone's just, I don't know. I don't have a long list of people that I've gotten into, but my mom has a trail behind her. And she's not pragmatic. She's judgmental. She has been. She's pragmatic with people she barely knows or rich people. She's pragmatic with them. I, you know, I, she has a lot of patience for other people. She just, anytime that you've said something, if she gives you a law, if you ask her something, you think it sounds weird. And you're like, but I know it's right, but why? And so she'll talk and you know how people talk through stuff and I want to know why. And she'll just go, Leanne, I don't know. I'm just a lawyer. Okay. It's just kind of like, that's weird. Why do you think they did that? I don't know. She has, she's always had little to no patience for us. I mean, I don't know. There's a horrible car ride that with, when we were coming back from the Phantom of the Opera in, um, in Indianapolis. And my dad and me and my kids were laughing and having a good time, laughing and having a good time. And my mom was driving and she turned around and screamed at all of us. And to the point where the girls were crying and there was this weird silence all the way home because little do you know that my mom drove around in silence all the time. And then one day when she was 50 or so, we're sitting at a restaurant with her and she's like, I like this music now. <laughs> okay, good. You know, but you can't, and, and anything that she tells you, even if it's a good thing to straighten up, she's, you know, like straighten up, don't hunch like I was just doing. In one mile, turn right onto East 725 she would, South. She's got to make it safe if you were she told you to sit up straight. Then she tell you what you look like. You look like a hunchback. You like, you know, stop eating, stop shoveling it in so fast. No one's gonna take it away from you. And those are things that like stick with you. Those are things that happened like when I was a child. And it's always gotta be the correction with a, an extreme example of what you look like doing something. And I don't think you understand growing up with that. Turn just, right onto East 725 South. I don't know. You're so uninformed. I, I don't know. This is taking me a long time to do this because I just go back and forth and I'm like, I, I don't care. Whatever. In one mile, whatever is going to make her money days. and make her happy. That's what she's wanted her whole life. So she gets comments and, and lots of, um, sorry. She gets comments and lots of, uh, you know, ad admiration and adulation and she's, she's just thriving on it. And that's great. But you can't do that without telling scathing lies about your children. You don't have any good stories with your child. Not one. No good stories. You, do, you don't know anything about me, but if you've read or listened to stuff, you know stuff about my mom now. Imagine that. At the next stop sign, You know nothing left. about me. It's boggling to me. It's, <laughs> she's talking about a real woman 
who's a mother and a grandmother. And she's talking about someone that way. Not just someone, her daughter. I don't get. At the stop sign, why, turn left on the South 400 East. You know, she puts out there, you know, that uh, she doesn't really like her daughters. Okay. But people are like, oh, Connie. Connie, you're so brave to say it. I probably said that in other things, but I mean, think about what you're saying. Is it just because she gives you a pass to be a nasty person? In three quarters of a mile, turn right onto East 800 South. I don't know. I'm a realtor, I gotta work. <laughs>